Hey everyone, Silver Joker here. Now listen, this video today is packed full of useful information. I went down and talked to my local coin store owner, Clay, and we talked about a lot of things, but when the subject came up to where I asked him, what is the most economical way to stack silver, to say that his answer surprised me would be an understatement. Well, you're gonna hear what that answer is. And also, listen to this closely. There is a way you can get free silver. Yeah, I know, I know it's hard to believe, but believe me, stick around and I'll tell you exactly how you can do it. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I have to share this with you very quickly. Now, as you guys know, my good friend Silver 5150 has an Etsy page. On that Etsy page, he has some very nice physical silver. You guys have seen it. Many of you have visited his page. You've seen his prices. They're very reasonable for the type of silver that he sells. Well, on July 4th, beginning at 12 midnight, he's going to slash those prices by 30%. He's called it his Joker Sub 30 sale. Now this information is exclusively for the viewers of the Silver Joker channel. So you guys are gonna get this information by watching this video and no one else is gonna have this information. Now the sale's open for everyone, but who's gonna know in that 24 hour period before you guys, no one. So this is pretty exclusive. And not only is he slashing his prices by 30%, which is amazing, he's gonna give away free silver. That's right, if you spend $300 in a Zetsi store, you get a 10th ounce Somali elephant in the capsule, totally free. Now that's pretty amazing. But if you spend over $500, you get a half ounce of silver for free. You get a one half ounce Royal Canadian Mint Polar Bear silver coin in the plastic flip, totally free for just spending over $500. Now the man is going insane. He's done these sales before, so you know that it's gonna go extremely fast. He's gonna start this sale, it's only gonna be 24 hours and it's gonna be for, for as long as supplies last, but if you remember his last sale, things went very quickly. And they will do the same thing this time, especially with him giving away free silver and slashing the prices 30%. So do yourself a favor, get over there and get you some silver. Nobody's doing this. Nobody anywhere is doing a sale like this, especially giving away free silver. Do yourself a favor, get over there, buy yourself some of that silver, get the stack. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom, vroom. I told them all that I was soon, soon. No, as a child, back in the womb. Oh, told them step back, I need my broom, broom. Hop in the car, watch it go vroom. All right, YouTube, here we are again. Down at, uh, Main Street Coin, talking to Clay. He's getting himself a drink of. Uh, for Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Hashtag Dunkin' Donuts. Now that's 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 primo coffee in there, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good stuff, yeah. Okay, so I see you got some stuff out here for us. This is pretty nice. These are all graded. Yeah, these are just graded. And, uh, numismatic stuff. But this is what interests me more. <laughs> when yeah. you first brought this out, that is a thousand dollar bill. We don't see as many of those as we used to. No, we do not. So that's a note that's become pretty scarce. And this right here, this is valuable because it's no longer used, for one. So beyond just the thousand dollars, how much somebody have to pay for that? That is probably uh, three thousand to thirty-five hundred dollar note. Man, it's nice. It's got no pinholes. Yeah, it looks nice. It Very nice. Like a fine. I guess you kind of want to see that fold in there. Does that mean somebody had it in their bill fold at one point? Somebody or? definitely had that to yeah. spend it at one point. For me, that for me that just increases the value. I mean, that's why I like constitutional silver is because just the idea that you know some of these coins, these older coins, you have no idea the journey that they have taken to get to this point right here. That is for sure. And that that to me that fascinates me. Okay, this is all good. We like this kind of stuff, but. You know, I got some questions that some viewers asked me, if you don't mind. Yeah, certainly. I'll try to uh, keep them light. <laughs> so, well, no, I won't because, uh, you know, I'm going to try to, try to you know, pick your brain here. Okay, so look, we all know premiums. I mean, you'd have to be living under a rock. Premiums are 
are lower uh, in a lot of places, online dealers, and also a lot of the um, coin stores I've seen have you know they've lowered there. So what would you attribute that to? What do you think is going on there? So I would say that we're on the backside of a huge wave of demand we saw three to four months ago. Um, so you know when we had like the banking crisis that started and, and everybody in the country seemed to mobilize to try to buy silver or gold at the same time. That sucked up all the available supply in the market, and then the big manufacturers kind of went into a manufacturing cycle. So that's usually a 90-day cycle when they bring um, goods to market. Okay. So, you know, I'm not completely sure what the whole story is, but I think we're on the backside of that curve, and supply has just renormalized. Um, and at the same time, prices have also softened up a little bit with gold and silver. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of times with gold and silver, we see the phenomenon where when the prices drop. Sometimes demand drops a little bit too, which is interesting, mm. which is a lot of investor psychology. Um, people like to chase things. Yeah. You know, when prices are going up, sometimes we see premiums rise. It's kind of counterintuitive, yeah. but it's how gold and silver are. So I think the lack of volatility right now, price is not moving a ton each day and it's kind of softened up that and there being a lot of supplies definitely brought the premiums down and the availability up i get you so basically you're saying that since inventory is back to i guess semi-normal yes. uh, you have a lot of inventory that you can move now so you can adjust the price to kind of move the stuff chain. right i got gotcha. you yeah. All right, so how long do you think this is going to last? Have any uh, idea? I think it'll last until we have another impetus for a, a, an event which is going to shake up the gold and silver markets. Okay. You know, if we see a reemergence of the banking crisis or we see something bigger geopolitical, or, you know, economically things start to shift, you can expect silver and gold to become very scarce again and probably the premiums to rise a great deal. Wow. How do you determine your premiums? Or how do you determine uh, above what you pay for the, the silver? Um, it depends product to product, but generally what we do is we try to kind of come to a national average of what online retailers, um, large distributors are selling to the public for. You know, on silver, we try to undercut that price 40 to 90 cents an ounce. Mm. So at least we're, you know, we're selling cheaper uh, than, right. than the big guys at least. Um, so, yeah, so I, you know, I think if people really compared what they pay to local coin shops a lot of times, we're going to be quite a bit cheaper on some things. You know, like you can come buy 90% at my shop, way cheaper than you can ever buy it online. And, you know, that's a function of on a given day, we may buy 100 pounds of it. Right, that's you know, absolutely so true. So some things are always going to be a little cheaper on a local basis. Okay, so um, in your opinion, what is the most cost-effective way to stack silver? i say to, for the veteran stackers and also for, you know, some of the new stackers that want, might be wanting to get into it. I mean, that's a really simple answer. <laughs> okay. 40% Kennedys. Wow. Really? 40% Kennedys. I was not expecting you to say that. That is a... I mean, it's, it's silver, I guess, yeah. It's the only type of investment-grade silver, and it's made by the U.S. Mint, um, that can still be bought at spot. Wow. I was not expecting that. So 40% Kennedy. Yes. Okay, so how readily available? How can I, I mean, is it, how can I get my hands on them? In, I can order you a bag. Okay, yeah, so you can get them like that. Space. Yeah, each bag contains 2,000 40% and, Kennedy's. And on a resale, let's say liquid, how liquid would that be? Like Just I, as liquid as 90%. Wow. I was not expecting you to yes. say that. That was... Honestly, when you buy war nickels, you're pretty much only paying for the silver. You're not really paying for a premium. But that yeah, is, 40 percent is the king of that. That is very interesting. Um, what type of silver do you sell the most of out of your shop? I mean, consider bars, rounds, or the premium coins, maybe ninety percent. One ounce rounds. One ounce rounds, definitely. And there, and that is why. I mean, why would why are people more? Uh, because people aren't really paying any more for to have that one ounce as opposed to the five ounce or the ten ounce. Um, I think they feel like it gives them some pricing flexibility. You know, okay. We see okay. silver go to one hundred and fifty dollars an ounce five or ten years from now. Demand has kind of you know kind of cooled just a little bit. I don't know if you noticed that, but from we the have, yeah, certainly. yeah yeah cooled a little bit. Uh, but silver is still just as important as it's always ever been. Yeah, we, yeah. we cool from a really feverish pace, of sales, yeah. I think, in the industry. And do you have any opinion on why you think the cooling...
I think it's just a new cycle. This is okay. a commodity that's driven a lot of it by fear, let's be okay. honest. You know, right, I got When you. something happens and people get fearful about the money in the bank or you know, their economic future, I think they, they come back to the hardest asset that we know of, right. gold okay. or silver. So that makes sense. Yeah, a lot of it's driven by the news cycle. The banking thing, you know, we had a lot of customers that had never picked up an ounce of silver, never thought about gold before, that wanted to put funds in gold and silver because suddenly they're worried about their U.S. dollars in the bank account. That makes a lot of sense. That's a wave that's going to subside as that news, you know, goes away. But, you know, like I said, that news starts to creep back in, supplies are going to be dented quickly. Absolutely. So <laughs> to me, silver's on sale. <laughs> this, this is a gift. If you're a long-term stock. Oh, man, silver's on sale. I love I mean, it when silver's silver like under this. $25 with what we are facing. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can't think of a more compelling investment. Right, man. Then now is the time. I mean, silver's cheaper. Yes. Premiums have relaxed a little bit. Yes. I mean, stack it yes. to the ceiling now because yeah, just know, based on mine supply. Yeah. And you, yeah. you know, Mexico runs out of a silver ore in six years. A few other countries shortly thereafter. I mean, by 2030, demand is going to be skyrocketing. Yeah. Supply is going to be a fraction of what it is. And, you know, everybody needs to remember we've had two consecutive years with an industrial shortage of silver. That has literally righted the last nine years of oversupply. So the dynamics of, of that going forward, there could be exponential gains. Yes. So that's how I feel about it. Well, yeah, that, that's a 10-year window. I can't think of another asset outside of maybe some weird artificial intelligence stock. Well, <laughs> I mean, other than that, I feel like the sure's bet is probably silver. For yeah. Yeah. I agree completely. Um, you know, the precious metals, all the precious metals are precious, uh, but silver is like the most affordable and it's fun. To me, silver is just a lot more fun than any other thing because you can stack what you want at a pretty reasonable price. I mean, if this right here was an ounce of gold, it would be absolutely out of most people's price range. But because it's silver, you know, maybe not in the slab there, but because it's silver, you know, it's affordable, it's stackable, and it's fun to stack. I appreciate uh, all your information, man, and so we'll, we'll definitely be back to talk to you some more. Thank you. Well, there you have it. Clay says, in his opinion, 40% Kennedys are the most cost-effective way to stack silver. And since he broke it down the way he did, I mean, it's really liquid. It's constitutional silver, and it's readily available. He could get you a bag. And so maybe I have to rethink some of the constitutional silver that I put in my stack. You know, it's always been 90% or above. But hey, I mean, you know, it's silver is silver, right? I mean, the 40% content just means you have to stack a few more of them, but it's still 40% silver. And so, you know, the views that are expressed on my channel are opinions. They're not meant to be taken as, you know, financial advice. This is just some of the things that we've done, some of the experts, some of the experiences that have had stacking, buying, selling physical silver. So you do your own research, do what's best for you. But you know, you can start here with just getting some information, information that we want to put out that we think is relevant to what you're doing as far as building a stack and stacking economically so your stack can benefit you financially in the future. That's what it's all about. You know, I say this in just about all my videos, stacking silver is not for everyone. You really have to be disciplined financially to stack physical silver because it, it will wind up being something that is a negative than a positive if you really go into it without doing a lot of research and a lot of really gut level honesty when it comes to what you can financially do. And that is, what I, how I want to leave it. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. Get over there to Silver 5150's Etsy store on July 4th. I'm telling you, that silver is going to go extremely fast. You know, he's doing it at 12 midnight. You might want to stay up for this one. Get yourself some silver. Put that silver in your stack. Get it at a good price and get some of that free silver. Let's not let him have any of that free silver left when we're done. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.